Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Beorning and we have one more piece of business to handle here with Gurion. Hello there. How may I help you, friend? The Hill of Ereg has been the site of many queer dealings as of late, Pineclaw. While I swear I saw the dead rush from the Vale, I was apparently mistaken. Many of their number lurk about the hill even now. But strangest of all, I noticed a dark figure creeping up the hill towards the stone last night. Could it be the same person you sought near Sardol? For my part, I searched the hill for the, f the following morning, but I found no evidence of their passing. I worry that I missed something, Pineclaw, and I would ask that you search the hill as well. Alright, let's go and search the hill. And uh, let me. Oh, just j just a deer. I was see the red dot there. I thinking that there is some big vicious orc, something like that. Now, if I remember correctly, the easiest way up the hill. Actually, why don't I just go up this way? I think that road might lead there eventually, but. This looks nice and straightforward, assuming I could avoid the cats and all of that fun stuff. And of course, assuming that my arch enemy, the unclimbable ridge, isn't here. Now, Iron did his quest. I think it he had his th his session play is repeatable so you could do it both ways if I recall correctly so I'm not going to worry about repeating it just so you can see the other than the dead it appears that nothing has disturbed the hill recently yeah yeah minor little detail in this place other than the dead but let us see right stone stands untouched but I notice a curious footprint near its base more curious footprints Clearly not made by circling dead nearby, the boot prints denote a heavy boots of foreign make. Alright, and now I'm asked to return. I go all the way up here just to say, oh, you see boot prints. Not really much more than I saw during the epic story, right? But I noticed that when I got up there, it got darker. Which is, well, I suppose that's probably because of any dread emanating from that dead figure up on top. Well, I was wondering when I was going to run to a war band. Fellowship. <laughs> oh, if I recall correctly, that's the, yeah, the dead fellowship. Yeah, just say decline, and we'll be done with that. I knew I had to be careful of something, and that's why I get scared of when I see those red dots all over the place, even though one lone deer is only one dot, while a warband will pop up a quest, has this big warband leader indicator on it, and many other red dots surrounding it. It's a little bit tough to miss there. I seem to be coming on this at a different angle. All right. I have found what's on top and not nothing really. These are troublesome times indeed. These boot prints you spoke of. You say the make was unknown to you? I wish I had learned more of this, Pine Claw. Allow me a moment to think. At least we are certain that the invader has visited the hill. Right? Oh, I'm just getting so close to 100. Gondor needs your aid. You mentioned you saw the dead, a dead circling the stone. Like anyone else in the Vale, they fill me with dread. But you, perhaps you could convince them to speak. You, there, there's, a, there's only one spirit circling the hill. Yes, you know that the invader hopes to sway the dead to his cause. So it was likely he sought an audience with them on the hill. I doubt the dead you saw shall aid us intentionally, but if you approach him boldly, 
he may inadvertently provide us with some answers we need. Right? Let's go and speak with this spirit. The voice of the dead. And this time, why don't we just write up so that we can get there a little bit faster. Making sure that I screw around all these spirits and bears and well, alright, because I'm just paying attention to the red dots, perhaps a couple of deer. And get up here and see what is causing the sky to darken when I get near the top. I think it's just some dread from the dead. Yeah. Yeah, dread from the dead. Nah, just the usual stuff. It's only... Oh, it's a plus two dread. Well... What are these things do I got now? Oh yeah, I, I still have a ton of these. So we'll do that. So now let's catch the spirit. Hello there! You are not the first to seek an audience with me, Bione. But I assure you, you shall be the last. I will never aid the heir of the seals, or whether I gain my freedom or not, I shall see Gondor Ouch. Bird. Yeah, well... I, I can see that you are testy. Well, can you bear me though? Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. The obligatory bear punch of the day. Strike at me! Ooh. Ah, that's right. Oh, you won! When our new master returns! The veil will be rent asunder! Alright. Okay. Well. That was... That? So, back to Gurion. And find out what he thinks about all of this... Fun stuff. Back to... Yeah, let's go. Make sure I don't run into it. Don't just go blindly running into a war band or anything like that. That would be because I know what the results will be if I ran into that war band. Plop. That would be the result, and that plop is not the sound of the ghosts being defeated either. <laughs> All right, I found a spirit there. Gondor needs your aid. The news you bring is most grim, Pineclaw. I fear that the dead have found a powerful ally, one that we may be powerless to stop with so many of our people gone in the aid of Minas Tirith. Right. And I suppose you don't have anything useful for me either. Of course not. Actually, I'm already using... Oh, my current one is better even if I... Accepted the agility. All right, and uh, what next then? What do we do? How may I help you, friend? Time grows short. Malthelon must be told at once of the dead and their new ally. The longer we delay, the greater the peril for everyone who dwells in the Vale. I know not of how many of the dead have thrown their lot in with this man, but I do know best to act is against him. I pray that Malthalan can offer some guidance in defending our lands, or I fear all will be lost. Go now, seek out Malthalan and more in Morlad, and tell him what you have learned. That's right, and I will be there right away. I am back, and I have news of what's happening on the hill. These are troublesome times indeed. I wish your return to Morlad could have been a merry one, Pineclaw, but our future only seems to grow darker with each passing day. 
If this man is the invader from Tarling's crown as you believe, I fear he plans to gather the dead as part of his great army in the south. We cannot allow him to maintain a foothold in the Vale, and I will not risk the safety of my people to push him from these lands. Gather my archers and send them to defend Allegrant, Sardol, and Lancroft. Go with haste, Pineclaw, for I shall look to you when the time comes. Alright, let's rally the archers. Let's find some archers. Here's an archer. Hello there. You. Well, at least they understand what's needed. Alright, let's rally another one because they seem to understand the instructions right away. I shall aid the people! Yay! Alright. And the third archer. Okay, I guess that archer is to stay here. But we have another archer here who is available to head out to defend one of the other villages. I shall go to Alagrant. Alright, good. And now with that done, we can take care of what happens. Alright. They have been sent. How may I help you, friend? Very well. The villages shall be protected. But the manner of this mad for Tarling's crown still looms over us all. We must convince him to reveal himself, and when he does, we shall force him from our lands. Very well. And we'll send a level 100 Bjorning after him, apparently. Yay! Oh my goodness gracious! The Lambert City Guard! Oh, well. Oh, I, I'm going to have to... We can accept that one later. Right. Alright, we could. Introduction Central Gondor. Well, that has a time roll, so I'm presuming that that will... come up later. I hope so. Introduction, Eastern Gone, Introduction, Introduction, in I'm hoping I can get these things later, because I won't. Oh, Eastern Gondor never goes away, alright. Oh, actually, that's what I did. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to... Hope I don't run out of quests trying to do all of this. Oh, I've got five more slots open. <laughs> right. I'm going to have to go through my quest log at some point and take care of these because yeah. And then old and there. Yeah, so let's remove these. At some point I'll have to turn these in. <sighs> well, I could turn in the white stag one. That's another thing I can do. Gondor needs your aid. Lady Rosefin and I have talked at length about the invader for Tarling's crown. He must be considered powerful sweat to sway the dead to his cause, but he is still just a man. Or so I hope. We cannot be certain if he has already finished his dealings with the dead, but you must seek him out on the hill. If he is to meet the dead there again, he will show himself, and it is then that you must convince the dead of his deception. Go now, Pineclaw. Gurion shall aid you as you reach the hill. All right, let's go. Let's hope we survive. After investigating strange occurrences throughout the Vale, you have tracked an invader from Tarlang's crown to the hill of Erech. While their identity remains unknown, they intend to form a pact with the ruthless dead, a union that could spell doom for Gondor. Uh, that's right. All right. Are you ready? Gondor needs your aid. Honor or not, I am still not certain if I regret joining you here, Pineclaw. I suppose I shall, too, find out. We should advance as quietly as possible, for I do not wish to alert this man of our presence until the time comes. Let's begin our ascent. 
I hope the dead are kind enough to have leave us be. Alright. My people have long avoided this hill for good reasons. So you must forgive me if I am might uneasy. Who do you think this man may be? Well, that I have no idea on that. Perhaps he is a Corsair, but to hold such power over the dead, I do not think it's likely. But, there were those long vanished line of worshippers of the enemy and wielded vile power. Oh, they are upon us! To arms, to arms! Oh, yes, yeah, let's go. Okay, well, good thing that. They're only level 7, I'm level 100. And, and I am getting smashed to bits. You know, strategy here wasn't the greatest. But at least my companion's not gonna get defeated. Yeah. That's not my companion I'm worried about. Let's bear up. Uh, oh, oh, he did it too fast. I, I wanted to. You slam on the. Of course, see, because there's only one not attacking me, and he dies just as I get to the right form. Unlike as it is, it could be that the man is a descendant of the Black Numenorians. If that should be true, we should have so much to worry about in the fear of the dead. I pray I'm wrong, Pyclop, but I cannot explain what I have seen thus far. The dead! Oh, Oh, why didn't I just go and eat or something like that while he was walking up there and then push it behind him? Uh, actually, let's see if I can pull off the ones that are on me. Yeah, three at a time. I did that one three at a time again! Yeah, I need... I definitely need something to eat. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, I would prefer it if it were two and two, so that I can... Well, fortunately, after... oh... After this, I... Between episodes, I might be able to get myself a better weapon, and I have level 100 weapon, start viewing it, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, now I can rip him to pieces once I get a proper tactical advantage. We have tarried long enough. There's no reason of allowing them more time to regroup. Alright, let's go. Let's tarry not. Oh, that's... I can't do that while I'm moving. Ah! Well, all right, well, at least... No, oh, actually, I didn't want to do that, because now that puts me on cooldown. <sighs> Wait here a moment. How may I help you, friend? Look ahead, Pine Claw. Yes, I know you could have, while you were stopped here, used the real... Hope token. But any case, is that the same Oathbreaker that you spoke with before? Nezrus, was it? I do not see the invader yet, so this may be our last chance. You should speak with the Oathbreaker and try to convince him of his folly. Huh. Yeah, like that helped last time. Like that helped last time. Hi there, are you still on doing this? You speak of deception, Bjorning, yet you know nothing of our plight. Azarthor has given us a means of escape. The curse that binds us shall be lifted at the war's end, and the line of Isildur shall finally be broken. We shall have no one left to answer to save for the Dark Lord, and it always, as it always should have been. You are too late! 
We will overwhelm these lands, and the heirs of Castamere shall lead us all to freedom. Oh, really? Uh, you mind if I have this little honey cake first? All right. Come, Azathor! This is the one I told you of. Oh, fun. The heir of Castamere. You are too late to our gathering, Pine Claw. You see, the dead have already sworn themselves to my lord. I am Azrathor, an heir of Kostamir and servant of the Scourge. When this war ends and the kingdoms of men line are broken, the great I shall rule and the dead will be free of their curse. I need not the strength of the heir of Isildur to break the curse, only the might of the Dark Lord Sauron. While I admire your boldness in seeking an audience with me, you would not leave this veil alive. I leave this matter to you, Nerzus, and pray do not fail me. Slay them! Serve my master Oathbreakers, and the curse shall be lifted. You, you notice he doesn't do it himself, he just... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cowering here. Oh, your journey ends here. Yeah, right. Thank you! You gave me enough time to <laughs> use my... <laughs> to use my hope token. Okay, good. Oh, good. Those arrows are coming for my friend. Oh, ow, 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 Oh boy, it, it would be nice if I... Okay, okay, I am going to need a little bit of help here, aren't I? Okay, here we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, no! No, don't, don't do that! Don't do that! Hey! Oh, good grief! Yeah, I've got a three-level advantage, and I'm actually completely hopeless in this thing. Alright, let's go. Oh, hopefully this will be different. There is no defeat for me! Yeah, 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 you're right, right. Let, let's... Alright, let, let, let's maybe give my archer friend a little time there. Whew! Whee! That was close. Boy, that was close. Gondor needs your aid. We have kept our lives, Pine Claw, but I fear we won little else. This heir of Castamir, Azrathor, threatens the whole of Gondor, and we may not count ourselves lucky that all the dead did not heed his call. He has fled the Tarlin's crown, but he may not stay long there before waging war to the south, or even the west for the Anfartis is all but empty. You must warn Mathalan and Lady Rolsven at once, so the people of Dol Amroth might ready themselves for war at the time. Oh yes, we must ready ourselves for war.